Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. How are y'all doing today? My name is Blue Phoenix. If you're new here, I do fun planty videos, sharing my found knowledge, and also a weekly plant vlog. Uh, as a plant shop owner and also my daily life that I put out on Wednesdays. If that's something that you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, let me know how you like this video uh, in a comment down below. Uh, in today's video, I am going to show you how to uh, rescue your Raphidophora tetrasperma. So I had a sad little guy here. And basically what I've done is just let him acclimate to my to the space. This is what it means uh, for you to acclimate your, your plant to your space. It means to like let new growth uh, emerge out of their out of your plant I just like it I just like seeing their uh, a lot of new growth until I could really uh, start working with it so I rescued this one and this one turned out really good uh, I still have it in its original pot but it's it has new uh, soil I just have this in, in a like terracotta cash flow uh, so what I'm gonna do is eventually put this on a cocoa coir pole from our uh, plant shop. My Hoya loves it. Well, let me show you all. If you can see back there, that's my Hoya and I put it on that cocoa coir uh, pole a while back and I used like the amendment and the soil release uh, and it's it's been doing really well. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video also. We'll be using that slow release fertilizer and then also the uh, biochar amendment uh, because I really enjoy that. I really like it. I really enjoy that watering routine that I now have in here that I don't have to really like consistently worry about, you know, because I really want to make sure that all the plants are in top tier condition when I sell them, especially when I'm shipping through Instagram and also uh, any and uh, through through any time really so what i have here is our soil and it has like worm castings and it has uh bark and also uh some perlite in there i'm adding just a tiny bit of uh so the soil release in there like so just gonna sprinkle that on top and then like you just need like that much and then i'm gonna put on my gloves okay so your soil is gonna look like this it's nice fluffy and then uh you're gonna want to take this out of its pot if any soil falls that's great that's fine i'm still gonna keep it in this root ball um, i'm just going to plant it in a more deeper container allowing its roots to kind of like really like form itself in there and kind of like allow this plant to trail. I would love it to see it trail. There. And then place that on top of there. Now I'm just gonna cover the top portion of it. Next, I'm going to water it, um, and how I water it is by taking it to my shower area and actually like giving it a nice good like rinse and letting it all just soak up in there. That really just helps that out, especially now that I see that all this new growth is, is fine, like it won't damage it. Um, it'll just also clean off any uh, leaves that needs, needs to be cleaned up, off. I let this uh, plant acclimate in my space for about three weeks almost, I would say. And 
that's the new growth that, that uh, appeared. A lot of new growth, especially with the Rapid of Four Tetrasperm mode, you're gonna get a lot of new growth. Um, I did light waterings with it. I didn't really, and, I'm, and I didn't remove anything like from the root ball. I just kept it like uh, the the way it came. I just amended the soil, and then I also um, added slow release fertilizer. Uh, for me, those two are like the best things because, like I keep telling y'all, I don't like to water, <laughs> and I like to make sure that. Uh, it stays moist and evenly moist and that's how i keep like all my begonias alive and that's how i keep all my plants alive because i just i really kind of like figure out that way of like amending a soil so that way it fits my watering routines which is basically like either like they all get one good heavy watering twice a week or one good what they all get one good watering once a month like that's how i want to do it um i don't want watering to be like a priority i want it to be like something that i that i can just do not like 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 i'm, I'm okay with it being a task so that's i prefer just being like a something that I, I need to do, but not like something that is a priority. Um, and then with fertilizing it, I already have it on that routine, so that way it, um, it stays pretty much like it look thriving throughout the whole way. But yeah, I really wanted to see this one vine and, um, and then have this one climb up on a pole. I'm gonna use the same uh, soil type for both of them so uh this one being really like fast growing and trailing upwards is just crazy you can also find the raffidophora tetrasperma on the website it it's one of my favorites um it's easy to care for um it's something that i it's, it's one of the one of the plants that i really like and enjoy and i think it's also a great plant for other people to start off with and for Clipping back a plant when you see um, any like like damaged leaves or damaged stems or brown like brown brown stems, um, you would want to like cut them off. Everything right here is pretty healthy, as you can see here. And it doesn't need any trimming. It would only need trimming if I wanted to like. Uh, propagate it but i really want to see this one trail so i'm excited for that and i'll post updates i hope you all enjoyed uh this video uh this is one of my fun uh plants that i love and i um i'll, I'll leave uh some care tips and a care guide in the video down below so if you need any help with your uh plant you you can always check on this video and check to see uh the care guide requirements that help me uh, with caring for this plant and loving it as much as I do. Y'all have a great day. Thank you all for subscribing and uh, uh, watching my videos. Y'all take care. Bye. Peace.